What up? What's up? What's up? So, uh, I wasn't even going to uh, 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 talk about the, the current beef. The current beef that's on the skillet. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you had your ears to the streets. <clears throat> let me clear my voice real quick. If you had your ears to the streets, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We talking about Kendrick and Drake. But the thing about the battle that if you a producer and you watching the battle, not an artist, not a writer, not an outside, you know, uh, fan that's a fan of Kendrick's or a fan of Drake's, you know what I'm saying? Or, or even if you in between, you just a fan of hip hop. Not talking about those people. I'm talking about us. I'm talking about the producers. If you a music producer, then you've learned a lot about you know, the current trajectory of hip hop. And you've, you've, you've seen that both of these guys have given us um, um, cues and just different different ways to do things, different ways to, to approach uh, music as far as hip hop. And if you think about it on a production level, like, what Drake did on Family Matters was a was a was a producer's dream. You know, it was almost like sicko mode like like type of like job. It was a sicko mode type of job. Like I gotta create three different tracks. They all gotta be, you know what I'm saying, around the same type of feeling, but 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 change the feeling and but keep the feeling going. And we gotta we have to set the beat ups in a certain way to where they are in the best um, order to where when people perceive it, they know that the 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 trajectory goes up. Not saying that the the dopest beat gotta go first or the dopest beat gotta go last or the fastest beat gotta go first or the slowest beat gotta. You just have to set it up in the way that it makes sense for the audience of what you're trying to portray as a as an emotion as a feeling. But you coming at them with, with multiple tracks. That's the that's the, the 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 interesting and crazy thing about what they did and what and if you saw that, you know if you are if you are in a at a at home studio, or even if you had a big uh, studio, I mean, you know what I'm saying four measures is four measures, eight measures is, is still eight measures. So when we looking at a computer screen, we still we still talking the same language. But what what whatever you're doing, even if you had a small studio, you would know that it's like damn, I gotta freaking make three different tracks. I gotta make these transitions make sense. I gotta uh, mix all this stuff and make it at the same sort of volume. And um, on top of that, I gotta get with the artist to so he, so they can let me know when to do the drops and the timings of different things and when to come in and when to like a lot of people didn't pay attention to stuff like that on Family Matters because we're in a we're in a we're in a we're in a battle, so you don't pay attention to. You know, when you're watching the Super Bowl, you don't pay attention to, like, great defensive plays or great stops. You don't. You just be like, damn, you know, you either be let down or you be rooting for your team, but you don't pay attention to certain techniques when they're done when you're watching the game. When you're watching the game, you're just in the game. So when you're watching the battle, you're just in the battle. But if you take a deep breath and you look back on it, both of these boys have given you a produ uh, for, for a producer – and the artist went out and made a song, they made the producer proud. Like not like not like not like us is a producer's uh uh um um it's a producer's dreamland because we're talking about a, a a dance track that represents um you know it represents the Bay Area, you know what I'm saying? Shout out DJ Mustard, but it represents you know what I'm saying? It represents ultimately like a whole coast and the whole style of a whole coast. Just like, you know, back in the day, shit, in the South, when we, you know what I'm saying? We had, we, man, we didn't have so many goddamn dancers in the South. It, it, it's ridiculous. So I can't even like go into that spiel. You know what I'm saying? Snap your fingers. You know what I'm saying? Laffy Taffy. Goddamn. Uh, Stanky Leg. Goddamn. Superman. That whole that Watch me. Yo, nigga, we the king of making our dances. So. But for them to be able to vibe to it and dance to it, and Kendrick made a dance, he this is probably his first hip hop hit, but maybe his first like something that's connected to an actual dance and something that's connected to an actual trend from from his culture. 
And you should take note to that. If you were an artist, you got to ask them, man, like, where you from? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, what kind of dances do y'all do where you from? You from, even if you from Connecticut or you from wherever, whatever, what kind of dances do y'all do? You from, you from the, uh, you from the, the DC area. You know what I'm saying? If you do go-go, y'all might can come up with like some trap go-go and like make it to where it makes sense to dance to go-go, but it's trapped out, but it's hard, but it makes sense for people to dance to too. But it's hard enough, you hear that now? It's hard enough for niggas to listen to the lyrics but it's, it, it's dancey enough and great enough to make people dance to, i.e. the ladies. So Drake does it well, Kendrick does it well. And you know, you gotta you gotta think about the different ways they, they were doing things. They were mixing, like Kendrick was mixing samples at the beginning of the song, and then he'll come back in with a with a trap beat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then at the end of the song on Euphoria, it was a different type of, it was a different type of melody and the beat switched up. So like, you gotta think about things like that beyond the battle, if you a producer. Now, if you looking for as far as the battle, my nigga, my nigga, uh, my nigga Drake was up 28 to three. He lost like my goddamn Falcons. God damn, that nigga was up 28 to motherfucking three. Then the, the internet, the internet is undefeated. Kung Fu Kenny came in with that last blow. They're not like us. And the internet made his vote. That's it. Kung Fu Kenny, a uh, hip hop president of 2024. That's it. He won the hip hop election. That's it. That's it. I was rooting for Drake. You know what I'm saying? Only because I know Drake gonna come with some fire when he when he pushed against the wall. Just like just like back to back. Like back to back was one of the one of the songs that like really made me like realize that like drake can make some really 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 great like hip-hop stuff you know what i'm saying i know this whole like you know what i'm saying like think about if he a, if he a gangster or whatever whatever man y'all y'all can miss me with that man i made r&b music i ain't no motherfucking gangster myself you know what i'm saying yeah i grew up in the hood but i ain't hood i can get hood i can get hood but i ain't hood i ain't I ain't about that hood shit I'm about this professional, conservative, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to label it, I'm for that. So if 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 Drake is that, then that's okay if he making hip hop, cause I'm R and B. But for the hip hop heads and for the for the real street street dudes out there, y'all might feel different. That's cool. That's cool too. I ain't got no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, if you a, if you a Bino, you know what I'm saying? Like like me, you know we. We just stay in our place. We just watching. I ain't, I ain't for the drama. I ain't for none of that gangster stuff. I don't do none of that stuff. I ain't in none of that stuff. I ain't no, I ain't, I ain't on no FBI list. You feel me? I ain't on none of that. I ain't no, I ain't on no list. So, yeah, like all, you know, all that gangster stuff, trying to prove he gangster, or trying to prove he black, man. I don't even care, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause to be honest, Eminem got to be in my top five. You feel me? And I wasn't even a huge Eminem fan, but I didn't see what he can do. So we talking about MC and we talking about the greatest of all time. Yeah, Eminem will go in my top five, straight up. So like, we can't say who's who's more gangster and who's not. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Eminem came up poor, but you know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't a gangster. It wasn't like he out here and he was he was in some sort of business to where it pertained to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I think a lot of y'all went on that and like discounted the actual music as a producer. Cause if you're a producer, you gotta look through all that, man. Your job is to make the music great. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Like all this other shit that's going on, man. I ain't got no time. I ain't look, man. I'm like Easy Mo B. Man, what's the what's the what's the topic of the song? You feel me? How can I make it great? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Easy Mo B produced for, for Tupac and Biggie during that whole little time. So, like, and produced some of their greatest hits. So, <clears throat> we can't sit up here and say that, like, as producers, we sitting up here, like, you know, you can pick your own side if you're a fan of some somebody and, like, have your own vote online or whatever. That's cool. But we can't be on this, like, not being able to see through it to look at the logistics of the production, to learn from it. That's what I'm saying. Don't be clouded by the BS in the, in the in, in, in what's going on in the streets and and, and all the, the tabloid 
Cause it's mostly it's really like a big tabloid. This 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 beef have been has been like a huge tabloid. It's been like watching, you know, when you used to go in the grocery stores and they used to put the tabloids like right there before you about to check out. They still do, but you know we don't be looking at that shit no more. Cause you got Instagram, you got the internet, you got TMZ, you got whoever. But they put the tabloids right there with all the all the gossip and all the dirt. You know what I'm saying about somebody personal life stuff that you ain't even know. Like I ain't even know that person had. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Children like that. And I don't even really care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake, real talk. I told my homeboy this. I said, man, if I was fucking Drake, nigga, I'd have 10 kids, nigga. Nigga, if I had, nigga, if I had $400 million, nigga, I'd have, I'd be like Nick Cannon. Nigga, I, women, if, if, if women gonna throw it at me, I'm gonna take it. I'm dead up. I'll have a bunch of girlfriends. I would, I would never be without a girlfriend if, uh, if, if you talking $400 million. That's hard to do, to not have some kids, to not be involved with somebody, like to not be deeply involved with somebody. And then you might get out of this situation and something might happen with this or whatever. You ain't got no kid. Nigga, Future got, Future got 11 babies by, by, by 12 different baby mamas. You feel me? Like, like, like it's on that, it's on that level. You don't even understand what, what the hell going on. You feel me? That's what, that's what level Future on. So we must we must remember that. Y'all got to remember that. Like Drake Drake got one kid. Even if he had another secret child. Oh my god. Nigga, NBA Youngboy got how many kids? All right. Okay. But y'all love him. Okay. That's what I'm saying. If you a rapper, you supposed to have some goddamn kids. So we can't go based on that. We can't we can't we can't discount the man and look through the look through the clouds for the production. Cuz let's be honest. Family Matters might be might be the greatest production as far as Drake's music in the last five years. Cause he made he even made Kendrick fans be like, God damn, nigga, Kendrick, you got to come back. Kendrick came back with that blow. Boom. But still, he made Kendrick come right back. That shit was that dope. So if Drake doing shit on that level as a producer, you need to look and analyze that. If Kendrick come back and do something on that level against it, you need to analyze that. Because that's that's where the essence in the roots of hip-hop is. And you can take those elements and learn from those different things that they did and implement it into your artist. That's what you need to think about. You can Ain't nothing wrong with taking concepts. Yeah, I dare you to go to your artist and say, hey, we're going to do a song with two different beats. The first two and a half minutes is going to be this beat and you're going to spit and then we're going to go into this flow and it's going to be a totally different flow, but it's going to be on the same topic, but it's going to be like, it's going to be like whatever we, we structure and we pick and we going to, we, we, we going to fuck with their minds. We going to trick these motherfuckers, man. We going to get these motherfuckers. We going to entertain these motherfuckers. Just like they doing, they entertaining this beat. We going to entertain. We got to entertain them. That's what it's shown. And y'all ain't been looking at that. I've been seeing y'all online. All y'all been saying is y'all been trying to protect y'all side. Like y'all, like y'all are part of a game. I'm like, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, producers. Stay focused. Stay focused, producers. Y'all need to be on some. Let me analyze this from a musical level. I got my guy. You got get your guy. Have your guy. Yeah. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin and 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 The Rock. Yeah, you either rooting for Stone Cold Steve Austin or you rooting for The Rock. But we both know that we 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 both can go to a WWE match and be friends and high five, and we might even be like, damn man, The Rock. The Rock be Stone Cold Steve Austin. I might talk some smack, but we know we cool. We good. And we walk out of here and we good. We analyze the great moments that we had when we watched them, them wrestle and them interact. We like, damn, I love that joke. Yeah, when he told that joke, when he said that, boom, when he went in the, the ring and he hit him with that chair, damn, that shit was cold. Same thing with them. The drops, all the, all the like, the different drops in between the, the tracks and all that. Y'all think about that. That's 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 hip hop. Y'all can be y'all can be stealing those concepts. The same thing Kenny did. I got a sample song at the beginning of the shit. Then I'm gonna go into some fucking just outlandish, crazy, like off the wall shit. Like I'm finna kill this nigga type shit. Then on top of that, if you got an artist, you like, dude, man, you need to have something connected to your culture to where you you can make people move. You can make people. Let's just be honest. You can make people dance. If you can make people dance. You can make a hip hop song. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. And it represent a region. You got a hit. You got a hit. Let's just be honest. That's the formula. So, I say all that to say, 
Y'all got the info. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. I'm out.